Today I'll be covering more about Alert Range, a less known gameplay mechanic and how it applies to We Are All Professionals Solo. If we were to check online, we'll see almost all such gameplays use Stockholm Syndrome. But without any in-depth explanation, it will be hard to replicate with complete success. And that's why we're here today. Of course, some of us will know that there's a 1% chance of the vault being opened right at the beginning. We could keep restarting for that rare chance to occur, but that would be really tedious. So the normal way it is. There's actually a fair bit of information on how civilians work which I won't repeat here. So do check out my hostage achievements video when you have the time. Let's start with the alert range. Players who have successfully stealth jewelry store or trusty bank using Stockholm Syndrome would usually, I imagine, get confused or receive a root shock when trying to do the same on Gold Bank. Sometimes civilians will seemingly ignore the loud shots even when they are not in panic and continue to phone the cops. Why does this happen? Why isn't Stockholm Syndrome working? The answer, as the topic implies, is related to a weapon's alert range. Most weapons, when unsilenced, will either have a 45 or 40 meter range, and when silenced, 1 and 0 meter respectively. So the truth is that while GoBank looks deceptively just like Trusty Bank or the other smaller maps in terms of size, it simply is not. Thus, weapons may have insufficient alert range, especially when we are kind of in the center while civilians constantly spawn from both ends. Take for example, a loud saw with a 35 meter alert range when ref from the spawn can only reach the gas station and not the bank. Likewise, when we are standing in the bank, it will most likely not be enough to cover from end to end. So what do we do? Have a bigger alert range of course. The loud saw when cutting something has a wide 75 meter alert range, which is what we see in some gameplays. Or hilariously, the flamethrower with a 300 meter range, way more than needed. By the way, before anyone asks, the silent saw has a 2 meter alert range when revving and 8 meters when cutting. Other than that, the only other weapon not yet mentioned is the Thanatos, 35 meter when loud and 0 meter when silenced. So in summary, why Stockholm Syndrome doesn't seem to work reliably on GoBank is due to the insufficient alert range. And to remedy that, we use weapons with a bigger range, like cutting with the loud saw or using the flame, well, maybe not the flamethrower. And now, some tips for we are all professionals solo. When using Stockholm Syndrome, it's hard to tell whether or not it has taken effect, especially when playing vanilla without a hard mod. The best way would be to see the alerted civilian getting down onto the ground. Similarly, for the civilians far away and out of sight, typically at the ends of the map, we'll watch for the exclamation mark to get down. If we're unsure, just cut with the saw a few more times. For a solo player to handle two pages, they will have to answer it one after another, something I call pager chaining. This requires practice and possibly deliberate use of non-pager blocking ECMs. I won't cover it here as it's rather detailed. The other way is to restart until we get a camera on the outside that we can safely break to layer one guard out for an easy pager. Then next is the key card, which can spawn on bank stuff. So don't waste your cable ties on the regular civilians. We'll be keeping them down with Stockholm Syndrome anyway. And speaking of Stockholm Syndrome, after the ECM rush, we want to fire at least once a minute to keep civilians down. We must also watch closely for spawning civilians during the time lock countdown and fire within 5 seconds of them being alerted. Next, for the phone's RNG, there isn't any trick for it. If we get Gensec reinforcements, we'll have to chain pages again, so don't spend them all at the start. But to ensure that we have as much time as possible before the next phone call, we'll first answer it, then immediately head into the vault. Again, we don't want to be stuck in the vault, so don't be greedy and just get out with one bag. They can be safely thrown out without triggering the lasers. There is also an advanced trick we can perform with the lasers. Most players would usually crouch and enter when the bottom two lasers are off. This is the safest pattern to work with. But here is one other pattern that we can safely pass through, when there is a slanted laser connecting from the second height to the third height, with the bottom lasers off. We can safely crouch through as long as we stick to the side with more space. Again, crouch and keep to the side. 
It is also possible to jump over lasers at the third height, but it's better not to take the risk. I did it in my gameplay though, so we can check that out later. Then secure the minimum one back and escape before the inevitable Captain Rogers calls in. And that's how to use Stockholm Syndrome properly on GoBank to get We Are All Professionals solo. Stay tuned for some clips and one gameplay using the flamethrower. <laughs> See you next time. Oh. Control the crowd, guys. Keep the people yeah. down. I just called to say I love you. Over.
Guys, answer the phone and pass me through. Robert's bank, how may I help you today? Hi, I just saw a show and the bank got robbed. And I want to move my money to a bank that doesn't get robbed. One moment, please. Answer the phone and pass me through. Good afternoon. My name is Randall. I'll be helping you today. I uh, wanted to ask you guys if you offer financing for automobiles. Sure. Please hold. guys. One of you guys answer the phone and pass me through. This is Randolph. Robert's Bank is happy to serve you. I need to talk to someone about my 401k. I'll get right on to that. Time lock opens the vault. One of you guys answer the phone and pass me through. You're sure Mortimer at Robert's Bank. I'd be happy to assist. Hey assholes, you want to keep my fingers off 911? Then throw a money bag over the yellow wall by the auto repair shop. Do it now. And I see one of you motherfuckers try and get a bag across the street, I'm on to the cops. Almost there, gang. Any second now. Yours, gang. Um, everything is fine. This is the bank. This is what you want. Yeah, uh, there's a charge on my credit card. That's that sneaky bastard dealt with. Let's finish up fast. He may want more. This is Robert Spank. How may I help you today? Hey, I'm having trouble with my account on the computer. Do I internet? Sure, please hold. That's enough bags to make this worthwhile. Great work. Nice approach. Jetsec will have a lot of explaining to do. Let's divide this and lay low.